Okay, if you can understand this, you have literally gone full beast mode in algebra because this is about like as tough as it can kind of get. Okay, so we're solving for x here. And again, I want to again make two, since I have three fractions, two that are which are added together, what I'm going to have to do is fraction plus fraction equals a third fraction. Okay, so I need to parenthesize that, x minus 3 and x minus 4. And then I just drop the 5. And then this can probably be factored, okay? By the way, I'll drop the 2, okay? Because it's a trinomial, I mean, I would hope it could be factored. So I've got x to the second minus 7x plus 12, okay? So there is no GCF, so we can get past that part. And then my T chart, A, B, C. So A times C is 1 times 12. And that gives me positive 12, so sum of 7. And that would be 3 and 4. Okay, and now it is very important you do your signs correctly. Some of you still don't pay attention to that because we have minus 7. So these two have to make minus 7. So you got to have minus 4, and if it's a sum, minus 3. x minus 3 times x minus 4. Because if you don't put the right signs, the whole problem becomes like a nightmare. Okay, and x minus 3, it's two terms, but it's a prime expression. And we have x minus 4. So now I need to come up with my LCD, lowest common denominator. And we have x minus 3. We have x minus 4, and there's really no outer factors, okay? That's it. So x minus 3, I got 1, 1, 0. So the 1 was 0, we need to put an x minus 3 there. Oops, sorry, that, that I needed to put a 5 there from up here. Okay, good. Now x minus 4, I've got 1, 0, 1. So when there's 0, I need to put my own x minus 4 there. Okay, and then say bye-bye to the bottoms, okay? We don't need that. Okay, we're good. Now I clean up the mess on top, okay? Now you may use your algebra um, PAPA calculator, 5 plus 2 times parentheses x minus 4. And then on the other side, you got 5 times x minus 3, okay? Now, this one's actually pretty easy without the PAPA calculator. Because, I mean, on the first fraction, we just have 5, so I don't need to factor that. I don't need to multiply anything there. The second one, we got 2 times x minus 4. This is me doing it without the calculator. By the way, you should know how to punch that in by now. So that's 2x minus 8, okay? And I just put that in there. So I want to write down 2x, and then 5 and negative 8 makes negative 3. So this side is 2x minus 3. Now I flip over to the back because there's just this, 5 times x minus 3. So it's going to be 5x minus 15. And now look at your x's. Okay, Obviously they're like terms. All the x's are like terms, so get them on the same side. And that becomes negative 3x minus 3 equals negative 15. And then plus 3 plus 3. So negative 3x and negative 12. And I divide by negative 3. And x is equal to 4. Okay, nice. Okay, my next problem, definitely want to parenthesize this, and this, and this, and this, okay? So, fraction plus fraction equals another fraction. Okay, so I've got 10 here. 2x plus 8, we better go to my scratch paper so I can factor it, because this does have a GCF at least. And 
and then we check for a difference of perfect squares. I don't think you're going to have one because there's a plus sign and that's not going to go away because the GCF is just 2. 2 divided by 2 and that becomes 1x plus 4 or x plus 4. So this becomes 2 times 1x plus 4. Okay, actually you're like the top. Why well, can't factor that? Well, absolutely you can. And the reason why you can is because you have a negative in front. And when I have a negative in front of the expression, the GCF, we want to pull out a negative 1. So it's going to be 8 plus 7x, which these are not, it's not even a difference, so I don't worry about going any further. So negative 1 times 8 plus 7x. Okay, and then let's look at the x to the second power minus 16. Okay, that's obviously, it's two terms, there's no GCF, but it's obviously a difference of perfect squares, adopts. So x, x, 4, 4. You should be getting pretty good at recognizing if something's a dops. Negative 8 just drops. And then again, we have 2x minus 8 this time. So I am going to factor this because there's a GCF of 2. So it's going to be 1x minus 4. GCF equals 2. That's not a dops, so though, because there's no second power. So that's going to be 2 times 1x minus 4. Okay, now, parent LCD, parentheses factors, we have 1x plus 4. x plus 4 is the same as 1x plus 4. And then I've got x minus 4. And that's pretty much it, but I do have outside 2s, so I call it outer 2. Okay, so let's look at this. So 1x plus 4, I got 1, 1, and 0. So I need to bring in my own 1x plus 4. Remember, x plus 4 and 1x plus 4 are the same thing. x minus 4, I have 0, 1, 1, so 0. Okay, and then outer 2s, I have 1 here. I don't have any here. And I have 1 here. So the 1 with 0, I need to bring in my own 2. Now, if it's an outer, I like to put it in front. Okay? I think you'll be happier that way if you do that. And now say goodbye to the bottoms. We just forget about those. Okay, so equals 1 this side. You might want to dial up Papa Math 10 times, parentheses, x minus 4, close it. Plus 2 times negative 1 times parentheses 8 plus 7x, okay? Now, if you'd rather not use math, Papa, because you think it's short-changing the process, well, on the first fraction, I've got 10 times 1x minus 4, or x minus 4. Now, on the other one, I've got 2 times negative 1 times 8 plus 7x. Okay, so here we just use rainbows, because that's 10x minus 40. And I drop that into the first. Okay, I would take 2 times negative 1 first, easy multiplication, negative 2, and then I distribute. Negative 16 plus negative 14x, okay? Okay, so the x's are like terms, so we add those, we got negative 4x, and then minus 56. Okay, so over here, negative 4x minus 56. Papa Mass should have given that. And then the other one's just easy multiplication. I've got 8 times 1x plus 4. And just find that product. It's 8x plus 32. This isn't as hard as I remember it being for people. Okay, so your x's are the same, so combine them on the same side. So negative 12x minus 56, 32. Then I add 56 to both sides. Okay, that's going to be 88. And I divide by negative 12. Okay, I'm actually going to divide that because that's kind of a crappy looking fraction. If you reduced it, you'd reduce it by 4, but I'm just going to do the decimal. Negative 7.3 repeating.
Okay, next up. Remember, don't parenthesize if it doesn't have adding or subtracting. That's stupid. You need to keep it as an outside term. Okay, so 7x plus 3, there's no GCF and it's not a dot, so I just bring that down. Okay, and I probably hope the trinomial on bottom factors. Okay. Okay, so GCF, stupid pen. There is none, but T chart better work. All your trinomials, I don't really put any trinomials here that won't be able to be factored, at least originally. Okay, now when you solve the equation, you might have to use a quadratic formula, but okay, so ABC, positive 15, sum of 8, 3 and 5. A equals 1, so I just need 2, so it's x, x, 3 and 5, and then minus, minus. Because the 8's minus, the 5's got to be minus, and the sum means they're the same. Okay, so x minus 3 times x minus 5. 3x prime. x minus 5, it's uh, no GCF, and it, there's no difference of perfect squares and x minus 3, okay? So now I'm ready to do my LCD, lowest common denominator, and it's on the bottom, so I've got x minus 3 on bottom in parentheses, x minus 5, okay, I already got x minus 5, and I've already got x minus 3, so x minus 3, I'm at 1, 0, 1. So where there's 0, I bring in my own x minus 3. Okay, x minus 5, I got 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, and I bring in my own x minus 5. Okay, we may forget about the bottoms, so that's good. Now if you want to use your PAPA calculator, you go parentheses 7x plus 3 plus 3x times parentheses x minus 3, and that's going to tell you what's on that side. Okay, again, if you're dead set against using the PAPA calculator, if you don't like PAPA, okay. Here I'm going to have 7x plus 3. And my pen is a stupid piece of crap. Okay, so 7x plus 3, and no multiplication is needed there, so I just drop in 7x plus 3. And then 3x times x minus 3, that's a 1. And then it's just distribution. So 3x times 1x, 3x times negative 3. A lot of people call that FOIL. You're not FOILing. FOIL is when I have to take two terms times another two terms. This is just distribution. So 3x squared and negative 9x, okay? Drop that down. And we got 3x squared. I have like terms of x, 7 and negative 9 make negative 2x. And then for constants, you have the plus 3. So this side of the equation now has 3x to the second minus 2x plus 3. And over on the other side, it's easy multiplication. It's just rainbows. So negative 1x plus 5. Okay, now look at all your x's. They're not all like terms. So you need to move everything to one side so you can do your factoring. Okay, now we have our 0, so I have 3x squared, negative 1x, and negative 2. Okay, so we're going to make our GCF. Now, in the first two problems, you had x's that were all like terms. This time, it ain't going to work like that. It ain't going to be that easy. There's no GCF. Okay, negative 6, difference of 1, and this does work out. And that's 2 and 3. By the way, if this doesn't work on this part, you have to use your quadratic formula because you have to get the, the answers for x. There's two of them because the x wound up to the second power when I did all my multiplying. a equals 3. So you need 4. So 3, 3, x, x, and 2, and 3. 
So you have minus 1. So you got to have minus 3 for sure, and difference is plus. So 3x plus 2, and we can divide by 3. 1x minus 1. No GC you have to worry about, so either 3x plus 2 can equal 0, or 1x minus 1 could equal 0. So 3x equals negative 2 divided by 3, and I get negative 2 thirds, and 1x equals 1. Okay. Okay, now one thing you can tell, you can tell if the problem is going to be easy if you have if you have no X's on top to start with, it's probably not going to be a bad problem, okay? When you have an X in the numerator in the original problem, that kind of means you've got some work. So I drop 1, that's prime. I got 1, that's prime, there's no second power. Two, and that's adopts, so obviously it's x plus 1 because x, x, 1, 1. So x plus 1 times x minus 1. There was no GCF. So I do my LCD. I'm going to have x plus 1 parentheses, x minus 1 parentheses, and then just more of the same. So x plus 1, I'm 1, 0, 1. And then 0, we bring in our x plus 1. X minus 1, I'm 0, 1, 1. So where there's 0, I bring in my own X minus 1. And get rid of the bottoms, and once they're all the same. Okay, so set up your equation. And away we go. If you want to use Papa Math, you go 1 times X minus parentheses X minus 1 plus 1 times parentheses X plus 1. That'll tell you what that side is. This side's obviously just 2. Okay, so I got 1 times x minus 1 and 1 times x plus 1. So it's going to be 1x minus 1 and then 1x plus 1. 1x minus 1, 1x plus 1. Add the x's, you get 2x, and negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, so this piece of cake. Just divide by 2 and you end up with your answer, and it's 1. That was a quick one. Okay. Next one. Big fractions. Parentheses here, here. Not there. There's no plus sign or minus. Here and here. X minus 1 is prime, but that trinomial on bottom... Yeah, we probably better change that. So x is second plus 3x plus 2. GCF. Now some of you are wondering, what if this doesn't work? What if the t-chart doesn't work? It will. Okay, We don't put problems where the trinomials at the beginning of the problem don't factor. So positive 2, sum of 3, 1 and 2. And a equals 1 x, x, 1, 2. So I've got plus, so we're going to have plus 2 and plus 1. Okay. So x plus 1 plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, 2x two won't factor. x plus 2, no dops, and there's no GCF. No GCF and no dops, and no GCF. LCD. So we got x plus 1, x plus 2, another x plus 2, and an x plus 1. So x plus 1s, so we're at 1, 0, 1. So the 0 is where we need to fix it, okay? So it has 1 to match up with the highest, okay? x plus 2, I'm at 1, 1, 0. So everything needs 1, at least 1 x plus 2. Okay, get rid of the bottoms. Okay. Again, on your math, Papa, 
To find this side, you go parentheses x minus 1, close it, plus 2x times parentheses x plus 1, close it. To find the other side, you go parentheses x minus 1 times parentheses x plus 2. Okay, so in the first one, I've just got x minus 1. Okay, that's good, so I'll just put 1x minus 1, don't multiply. And then the other place, I've got 2x times x plus 1, so I'm going to need to multiply that. So 2x times 1x and 2x times 1. So you're going to have 2x to the second plus 2x. Okay, combine like terms. You've got 2x to the second plus 3x minus 1. So that's what we have on the left side. Okay, and then I'm going to flip over to the back because I'm going to need to find the product on the right side. I'm not, I don't have that big table set up because it's only one thing I need. There's only one fraction on the other side. So 1x times 1x, and this is FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. Okay, so we have 1x to the second, negative 2x, negative 1x, and negative 2. So I'm just going to put 1x to the second, negative 3x, and negative 2. Now look at all those x's. Do they all look like like terms? No, they don't. Okay, so you need to clear one side. Well, x squared's on both sides, but I would clear the side with the smaller one. Because I don't like negatives on the x squared. It leads to me having to do a GCF, and it's kind of stupid if you have to do that. You should just get rid of the smaller one. Okay, so I've got 1x to the second, plus 6x plus 1. So it is GCF. I don't think I have one there. Now, had I had a negative, I would have had to pull out a negative 1, but I don't. Positive 1 sum of 6. That is not even possible. Okay, So it's quadratic formula time. Opposite of b, plus or minus d squared root, b squared minus 3. Then 2 times 1 is 2. And then 6, and then 4, 1 and 1. So negative 6 plus or minus over 2. And I'm going to plug that into my calculator. Second square root. Double the parentheses. 6 to the second. Minus a 4, a 1, and a 1. I got 5.66. Okay. So negative 6 plus 5.66. Divide by 2, negative 0 0.17 for the first solution. Negative 5.83 for the second. Okay, last one. So I've got parenthesize, parenthesize, but nothing really is going to factor because that is prime. It has no GCF, and x plus 2 is prime, and then I've got 9. I forget about 1. Don't need it. LCD, for parentheses, we got x plus 2, and then we also have outer x, okay? So x plus 2, I'm at 0. 1 and 0. So these 1's with 0, I need to bring in x plus 2 in there. Okay, outer x, I'm at 1. And that is not an outer x, so 0. Not an outer x, so 0. So I bring my own x in here. Okay, math pop is calling your name. You go 15 times parentheses x plus 2 plus x times parentheses 9x minus 7. And that'll tell you that side. And the other one side, x times 9 times parentheses x plus 2. Okay, so I got 15 times x plus 2. 
just distribution, 15x plus 30. Okay, the other side I got x times 1x times 9x minus 7. When I'm multiplying, I like to see it. So that's going to be 9x to the second minus 7x. Okay, so I've got 9x second. 15 negative 7 make 8x plus 30. So 9x to the second plus 8x plus 30. Now on the other side, we have x times 9 times x plus 2. So x times 9 is 9x. Okay, And then I'm going to have 9x squared plus 18x. Now, you have x squared and x's, but if you look at the x squareds, they're the same. So you're allowed to eliminate those. And then now we have like terms. Okay. Ooh, I've, this hasn't come up yet this year. And the like terms are the same, too. So guess what we... Oh, that's 18, sorry. Okay, 8x and 18x. So let's get the x's together, because now we have like terms of x. So I have 30, and I've got 10x divided by 10, and 3 equals x, or x equals 3. Okay, that's all I have to say on that. Hope it's been informative, and yeah.